Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J and this is another festive tutorial. This time we're going to be using the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. If you're interested in seeing how I create this look, then please subscribe to my channel and let's jump right in. So first things first, we're going to snatch these brows. I'm going to use the Ofra Cosmetics Don't Play Brow Gel. My favorite, I love it. So I'm just going to use it to sort of laminate my brows in place, get them all you know lined up looking really good so I like to use a spoolie to apply this um, and it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest my eyeshadow of choice today is the Pat McGrath Mothership 8 Divine Rose this was one of the eyeshadow palettes I featured in my top five party palettes I was tempted to peel off the uh, film but then I changed my mind <laughs> I just couldn't do it the eyeshadow palette itself is so beautiful I got mine in the rose gold packaging, but I think you can get it in the black. I think you can still get this one actually on the Pat McGrath website. The colors are iridescent. The, sh the shift is amazing, but you do only get two matte shadows in this palette. We're going to pretty much use only this palette to create this look. Um, I'm going to use the P. Louise base in room number five, and I'm applying that all over my lid. And then once that's done, I'm going to start off with the darkest matte shade in the palette. It's like a brownie, mauve color. You know, it's quite darker on the lid than it is in pan. And then I'm going to use the second shadow to blend the edges. So this time I wanted to play around with the shape of my eye. So I'm going for like a spotlight type of look. Applying the darker shade to the inner and outer corner. And then I'm going to use the lighter matte shade to kind of diffuse that and blend it up a little bit. Um, don't be afraid to go in with these colors because you can always blend it out. The Pat McGrath eyeshadow, eyeshadow formula is very forgiving and you can pretty much share it out if it's too much. To further deepen it, because I felt like you need a little bit more depth, I'm using this single eyeshadow from um, Pat McGrath. It's, it's a black eyeshadow. All the products will be listed in the description box in case you need them, but this one's called Dark Matter. And I'm just concentrating it um, in the outer and inner corner of my eye and just blending it on top of the brown shade that we initially applied. So once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to go back in again and use both of the two, um, both of the two, <laughs> I'm going to use both of the eyeshadows in the Pat McGrath palette to just blend that out. My trusty NYX glitter primer will come in handy for the shimmer look and I'm going to apply the NYX primer first and then apply um, two of the eyeshadows on top of each other just to give me some shine because I noticed that when I swatched the first one it wasn't as shiny as I'd like it to be because as I said I really wanted to do like a spotlight type of look so I'm going to apply it with my finger once I've applied the primer I'm just going to gently pat that into place. I'm not really being precise at this point because we are still going to go in with our blending brush to kind of smooth the edges of this. So it's one of the reasons why I really like this eye look. You don't have to be as precise because you can go in and use your eyeshadow to just create that shape and really blend it out. And then that's what I'm doing now. So just blending the edges, making sure it's softer, making sure that you don't see any harsh lines. And then we're moving on to my face. I'm using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. Love this primer, very hydrating, but still gives my foundation a good base to sit on. Foundation obviously is the Pat McGrath um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I'm mixing that with the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in 75. I'm doing that today because I have a few errands and I really wanted my base to last a really long time and I know that the Maybelline foundation is pretty long wearing so I decided to mix the two to give me a little bit more longevity than the Pat McGrath foundation would give me on its own. Concealer is the Pat McGrath concealer in MD24. Full coverage concealer covers my dark circles, my imperfections. I normally let my concealer sit for like a couple of couple of seconds sometimes couple of minutes because I do use a fan to dry it down 
and then I just blend it out with my blending sponge. I'm going to follow through with the um, Pat McGrath powder in light medium and this time I actually wanted to test baking with this powder because I've tried it before and I didn't really like the finish but I thought I'd give it another go and see if it's absolutely not good for baking. Um, it did work but then I also feel like it kind of dried my under eye a little bit more than I'm used to so maybe I would use it with a hydrating concealer and then bake but you don't have to bake to be honest this powder is really good for just pressing in your um, you know just setting your concealer in place and just making sure that you've got that overall finish so yeah don't be don't be scared we're gonna dust all of this away now I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line and for my lower lash line I'm gonna use the P Louise base first to um, just give me a base underneath my eyes and then I'm going to go in with the eyeshadows that I used on my lid and start applying that so this is a, a, a you know this is gonna take a couple minutes to be honest because I prefer to slowly blend in my eyeshadow you know how I do rather than plunk the color so you do want to take your time to do that and then I'm just going to dust away the powder. And this is when I realized that it's a little bit dry, a little bit dry. <laughs> to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Revolution CC Powder in Warm Golden. My OG of OGs, definitely one of my favorite powders. Um, I'm always going to buy this. I feel it's such a good powder from Revolution. So I'm using that to set all over and then once that's done, I'm just going to move on to my bronzer. I'm using the Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer in Phenom. Again, another one of my favorite bronzers. Such a good product from Morphe. And then to further um, chisel out my cheekbones, I'm going to go ahead and use the Colored Rain Bronzer. I like to do this just to give me a little bit more definition because it's a slightly darker um, bronzer little bit warm but not too warm so I just normally concentrate that in the hollows of my cheek just to give me a little bit more definition which I'm doing and I love the two of them mixed together and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna go back and finesse my brows I normally don't show this part because I just go in with any brow pencil but I love the one from Revolution Pro and I just use it to finesse and just fill out sparse areas and just make sure it's bold because my hair is nice and bold so brows need to match. For eyeliner, I'm using this pencil from Morphe in Sweet Tea. I love the nude effect. Didn't want anything too black or too overpowering. And then I'm popping um, the shimmer shadow that I used on the on the center of my eye I'm just popping that in the inner corner just to give me a little bit more brightness and then I'm using the Stila smudge pot and I'm just going to create a little old line um, just at the bottom of my lash line I've been noticing I've not been doing wing liners I guess I don't need to <laughs> there was a time when I would do wing liners for everything but I guess that era has passed she says and you watch probably in the next couple of looks you see wing liners <laughs> so once that's done I'm just going to apply my mascara you know the Morphe primer the, and the Morphe mascara the two of them together match made in heaven and then I'm just going to apply my lashes off camera these lashes are really dramatic honestly you can wear whatever lashes you like but I love my lashes Blush is from um, Ofra Cosmetics in shade Rendezvous. I love this because it's nice, soft, subtle blush, especially for dramatic looks. I feel like it works really nicely and just gives you that warmth. And then I'm using my tiny little lip pencil from MUA in Obsession. Honestly, I'm going to use this pencil till it completely disappears. So just be prepared to see it in a lot of videos if you haven't already. <laughs> And once that's applied, I'm using my Pat McGrath lipstick. This is a matte trans lipstick in Flesh 3. And thank you so much to the lady who told me not to fear because of the frost on the lipstick. Like, if not, I would not use this lipstick. But thank you for educating me. My highlighter is also from Pat McGrath. This one is the um, one that's 
you know, it's got a rose gold finish to it. I love it. I've used it in a few looks already. It's one of my favorites from Pat. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love how warm it looks. It's perfect for the season. Perfect, understated, festive glam. Definitely let me know if you recreate it. Definitely tag me on social media. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Turn on your notification bell. Please share the video. The usual stuff just to help my channel grow. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to someone today and black lives always matter. And I will catch you in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>